again. We are ready for our craft video. Okay, so I know that your moms and dads probably, um, Scooter's going to hang out with us because did we have a lot of fun our, during our lesson? Because I got to tell you, Scooter and my capable assistant, lean in here, capable assistant. There he is, my capable assistant. Uh, we're cracking us up, weren't they? I mean, they just, I mean, tell you what, he, I think he laughed more than the rest of us did, though, because he was falling off the table laughing. Yeah, he was I was, laughing so much. I'm really, he's really bad at that. He, he... <laughs> anyway, so Scooter, you want to hear about the craft? Yeah. All right, great. So well, your parents probably printed this out for you, and, and this is what it looks like when you print it out, right? It's a, a picture of a Bible, right? And it's an opportunity for us to write a prayer to God, right? So it doesn't have to be a Bible. It could be a journal, right? This could be your your prayer journal. Let's call this a prayer journal instead of a Bible because it doesn't have a ribbon on it. And you're going to write in it, not God. And we want the Bible is where God speaks, right? So your prayer journal is where you speak to God. Either you write it down or you say it, you know. All right, or you draw pictures to say it, right? Okay, so um, you, co you color it however you want to color it, decorate it however you want to decorate it, and then you write a prayer in here. And this can be a picture to remind you that God wants you to pray. He wants you to talk to Him, okay? Oh my goodness, how distracting is that? My dog and my puppet are in the picture. Okay, so sit down, please. Okay, good boy. All right, Scooter, behave. Hi. You're distracting the children. Okay, my prayer says, My Father in heaven, thank you for hearing me when I pray. Teach me to listen for your messages to me. Give me courage to always choose your way. Amen. So you color it however you want it to be colored. And then you um, write whatever prayer you would like to write in there, okay? And you could get your mom or your dad or your grandparents or your aunts or uncles to help you with that prayer. Because sometimes it's a little tricky to write when you don't have lines to follow. Do you like to write without lines, Scooter? I don't have fingers. Right. Well, the boys and girls have fingers, okay? The only right. reason I'm holding this is because of hot glue to me. Ah, right, right. I, I did hot glue it to you. All right, so here, boys and girls, is what I'm going to suggest to you that you're going to need. You're going to need some something to be beads. We're going to make a necklace, okay? So you're going to need something to be beads. You can use noodles or you can use any beads that you have or maybe you made beads. I, had, I found these beads that I had made a while back when I was playing with some clay and making beads for my granddaughters. And so I found these beads. And so you can use... Whatever beads you find, just something that could decorate a string and make a little bit of a fancy necklace, right? So it could be something very fancy, like a little shiny gold bead, or it can be something like this that you make out of clay. If you make them out of clay, you're going to make them a long time ahead of when you need them because it takes a while for them to get hard, right? But um, anyway, so I made some beads out of clay, and that's what I'm going to use. And you need something like yarn or um, some kind of... String. string, you know, something that you could use to make your necklace. Is that how you well, make that necklace? I, I made mine using chenille wires because I had them laying on the table and I thought, what can I do to get through these beads? So I needed something to be able to pass through the beads and it was not easy for me to pass through the yarn because the hole that I made in the beads when I made them is too small. But if you have noodles instead of, you know, if you use macaroni noodles or penne noodles or something like that, um, you can do this with... Um, with a, a regular yarn it will go through super easy or you could do it with a string it will go through super easy this is just a pretty gold string that i originally used when i made these beads but the thing that's nice about the chenille wire is it's stiff right so then i could easily pass it right through the beads like this i say i could easily pass it through and then i can't get it through there we go so it goes right through and then i could just make it on there the problem is that when I put it on my head, of course, it's not going to be soft and flowy like a yarn necklace would. So you got to decide what's going to work for you, right? Yes, yeah, Scooter, good. So you can make like that, and you can bend it however you want it to be. Okay, let it go for a minute. Oh, you can make it a little necklace. You can put your beads on it and oh. make a little necklace that's going to hang right around your neck. See? Ooh. But the main part of your necklace is going to be that you're going to make a circle. What did I do with it? You're going to make a circle, right? And you're going to put make a circle, or you can make it out of cardstock or cardboard or different layers of construction paper glued together. Whatever will work to make a nice stiff one. I made this one out of clay. But then the fact that I had these circles already has made me want to use them, but I couldn't write on them. So I cut out some paper, and I glued it to the front of the circle. And the paper says, Speak, Lord. I'm listening. Okay, so say that. Speak, Lord. I'm listening. Would you say it with us, Scooter? 
Speak, Lord, I'm listening. I like your spectacles. Is that a handlebar mustache? Yes. It looks like a handlebar mustache. I originally thought it might be spectacles. Okay, so then after you put... Now, on your circle, let me tell you, show you something. This is what I have learned. If you're going to have, like, a heart or a circle or a design of some kind that you want to hang on a necklace like this one does... You can't just put one hole in it and put the string through it because if you do, it hangs like this, okay? So you can't really see what it says. So what Miss Peggy did was I put two holes so that I could go through it. Now you could, if you were doing it with clay like this or if you were making it with <clears throat> some construction paper, you could take like a paper clip. I'm pretty sure I had a paper clip here early. Oh no, I think they're over here. Anyway, you could take a paper clip or just a piece of chenille wire or something and make a loop like this. I'll just do it like this and connect it to your paper like that. And then you could weave through here. But before you would do it, you would have to weave it to where it's this way so that when you weave through it, it will still hang flat. Because if you do it to where it's a hole like this, it's going to sit like that instead when you put it on the string. See how... A necklace, when you make a necklace, see how it's made? It's got a loop on it, but the loop is the opposite way of the flat part, right? So that's how you have to do it when you're making it. So I put my beads on the chenille wire, my circle in the middle that says, Speak, Lord, I'm, I'm listening. listening. And then, because I didn't use a flowy thing like a, a pretty... um yarn or a string I have to put it on like this and it's not as flowy and smooth so the chenille wire solved one problem but it created another one anyway this is what my necklace looks like and so now I can Ooh. wear it and anybody who sees it might ask me a little bit about it and say Miss Peggy what does your necklace say and I can say it you says, know what it says speak, speak Lord, Lord. I'm, I'm listening. listening. My ears. And that's what we want the Lord to know, that we are willing to not only hear him, but to listen to him. And listening to him, what's the difference between hearing and listening, Scooter? Do you remember? Mm. Hearing is just you detecting their sound waves with your ears. Right. It's just my ears doing what my ears are doing without using anything else to do it. But, but when I listen, what's different? You are... Using your brain to process those things that they're saying to you. Right, right. So if I'm listening, I'm not only hearing what God's saying. I don't have a brain. I'm trusting it. I'm believing it. I'm living my life according to that. And it's okay if you don't have a brain, Scooter, because we love you just the way you are. Don't we, boys and girls? I don't even have holes in my ears. You don't need your ears to work because you can use my assistant's ears. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, this has been super fun. Please listen to the rest of this video because um, my assistant has decided that all of the bloopers that we had while we were making these videos today are going to be following this. So the opportunities for you to um, be a part of all that cracking up that's going on. Okay. I love you very much. I miss you terribly. I hope Bye soon, now. soon, soon we are all back together at church. But until then, if you do any of these things like you um, make this necklace or you... Um, uh, color the coloring sheets. Um, no, this this one is the one I'm talking about. Take a picture of it. Send it to me because it just makes my heart so happy to know that you're not only watching the videos, you're actually doing some of the stuff for the lesson and growing in your knowledge of who God is and what, what he has done, done for us. us. Thank you, boys and girls. Bye. Bye-bye. It's time for Sunday School. I'm super excited about this week's lesson. I have a feeling we'll get a lot more laughter in this week. And laughter is super important. So if you see something funny, you go right ahead and laugh because I think there's going to be some funny stuff. But first, <laughs> let me say hello. Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm so glad to see you. Have Sunday School time. Super excited about Sunday School this week. Sunday School this week is going to be a little different. We've made some upgrades and some of them are going to bring a lot more fun and laughter into our lesson and I think that's exciting because laughter is very good for you so if you see something that makes you think you want to laugh you go right ahead and laugh 
Um, all right, so let's start with a word of prayer. First, let me say welcome to everybody who's listening. Thank you, thank you very much. If you're listening to these lessons and you're visiting with us, that makes me feel so excited. And what I want to do is... <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. It is 